Hello, and welcome to The Monster Painter. This week, we look at the Reaper Bones 5 add-on, the Spiders of Emreth Cull. All right, so what do we get? Obviously, we get a bunch of spiders and their victims. Obviously. We get a bunch of stuff in a bag. And when it's assembled, it makes for a dandy, if sinister, uh, old shrine. But uh, how does all this stuff paint up? Let's find out. No, don't worry, I'm not going to bore you to death showing uh, me painting up the whole set. Instead, I'm going to focus on painting the crystal on the monument. I have given it a nice base coat of dark blue. I'm using a dark base coat because it will, I will be using interference paints, sometimes called color shift or shimmer or whatever. At any rate, this kind of paint is most effective on a dark background. Um, I have mixed up some mauve and some interference purple for the next layer. Uh, and uh, this is this part is going to require some patience because uh, this pink can be kind of fussy. You got to apply a thin coat and let it dry completely, and then add another thin coat until you have a nice even layer. Now, once this uh, is all dried up, I'm going to add a darker layer. Uh, I've mixed up a darker color, uh, it's interference blue and purple, and we'll apply it in a couple of thin layers just to the top portion of the crystal. This should mimic the way a crystal ball inverts the uh, light and dark of its surroundings, and uh, it's not a bad effect if I do say so myself. As for everything else, well, those poor victims painted up really well. They're looking nice and gruesome. Uh, for the first spider, I went with a standard tarantula color scheme. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, for the next bigger spider, I did something a little more fantastic, but along the same lines as a, uh, as a tarantula. Um, I'm always a bit vexed by spider miniatures. In the wild, they tend to be uh, little black predators but a black miniature on the tabletop is not very exciting. So uh, as a result, I went with red instead of black on this fellow. For the last spider, I went all fantastic and tried a metallic color scheme. Maybe he's a robot spider or just some kind of great big fantastic magic spider. But I don't think he's too bad. Now, the real star of this set is the shrine. Grim and scary and full of eerie details. It was a delight to paint, and um, I really loved it. I think it's excellent. Uh, and here it is with its uh, statue and that crystal. Finally, we have our halfling hero ready for the fight, decked out in armor, a green cape, and an acorn shield. Totally fun but what of his adventures? Hard, dreadful monsters, prepare to meet your end. We're not dreadful monsters, we're predators. We control pest species and maintain a healthy ecosystem. These aren't pests, they're people. Who was that? A crooked politician. And them? Bandits! What of this poor soul? A murder hobo! A murder hobo? Murder hobo? I think it's time to get out of here. <laughs> Too late, murder hobo! Next week on The Monster Painter, we take a look at Cromlech's City Debris for Frost Grave. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Monster Paint.